Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Apparel Academy. In this episode, we're gonna answer some questions about the pros and cons of buying a used embroidery machine and how to kind of navigate the buying process to avoid some common pitfalls if that's the route that you want to go with. So I've been getting a lot of questions from people lately regarding buying a used embroidery machine to start out with, right? Maybe they are on a limited budget or maybe they've seen kind of some Facebook posts or on the Facebook marketplace or on eBay, people selling used equipment and they wanna know if that's worth their time. So I quickly wanna go into some pros and cons of buying used equipment and kind of get your wheels turning and thinking about how you should approach this, the situation depending on your particular circumstance. So the best part about buying a used embroidery machine is obviously that it is lower cost, right? It's, it's lower barrier to entry. You don't have to have as much upfront capital and you can get started depending on kind of the age of the machine or, or the condition of the machine for very, very little. And, and another thing is when the seller is selling you a used piece of equipment, um, it is more likely than not that they have all the attachments and all the accessories that came along with the package. And sometimes, and a lot of times, I, I, I do see this on some marketplaces where they will throw in extra things like cones of thread and supplies, right? Because they've been in business for a while or you know maybe they're getting out of it, but they have all that material still on hand so they can kind of bundle it all together with the sale. So you're getting a lot more value than just the machine itself itself uh, based on kind of the conditions and what the seller is throwing in along with the entire package. And when you buy directly from the seller, the seller sometimes will even be willing to help get you trained, right? They can show you how the machine works and kind of teach you the basics so that you are well on your way once you kind of get the machine set up and inside your place of business. And another thing I found is that when people buy used equipment, they tend to buy local so that they can actually go in and see the machine in action because you can't just kind of believe or trust what you see on the description or the pictures. People actually want to see the machine in action to make sure that it is working. Um, but a pro to that is actually you can get the machine very, very quickly. Since it is local, you can actually just go ahead and pick it up, save, save yourself on some shipping and don't have to have the seller ship it to you. Many times the seller won't even you know offer the, the ship to buyers because they will only sell it to someone who's local. Now that we kind of cover the pros, let's go into some of the cons and things to look out for when you buy a used piece of equipment. Obviously the number one con and number one downside to buying a used equipment is that you don't know the conditions, right? You don't really know the insides or the history of the machine. You kind of have to trust that the seller is being truthful and that whatever you're seeing, even in person, is actually how the machine will work. But without kind of knowing the details of the history, you kind of only see it on a surface level, right? Because you can only be there for maybe 10 to 20 minutes, maybe half an hour to see the machine, but then knowing it for such a short period of time, you don't know what potential problems you might run into down the road once you have the machine back in your shop. And especially for those who are new to the industry where you don't have any knowledge or background on embroidery, buying a used piece of equipment is really risky because even seeing the demo in person, because you know nothing about embroidery, you don't really know kind of the moving pieces or kind of what's going on and you can't spot the potential red flags that could occur with a thread break or things not working right. You just don't have the general knowledge or background to determine whether red flags are present during the time of purchase. Now on the flip side, if you are knowledgeable about embroidery and have been doing this for a while, buying a used piece of equipment can actually be quite a steal because people are selling things for lower than market price. Maybe they're trying to get rid of it. Maybe they're getting out of the business and you being a seasoned pro or even a mechanic, right? Knowing the in and outs of how the machine works, you can maybe even do some simple maintenance or tune up to the machine and make it very, very new and very usable, right? So you kind of can spot what's good and what's very valuable and kind of get a steal on the price if you're able to find a machine in good condition and kind of just do some simple tune-ups and get it working in your favor when you have a full running machine but knowing what to spot on that takes experience and that takes time. 
But if upfront cost is something that you are concerned about or you're on a limited budget, do know that companies like us have the 0% financing in place for you to get started for very, very low monthly payments. That is there for one particular reason and one particular reason only, to get people started without having to worry about large upfront costs. So you break down a huge chunk of investment into manageable chunks of monthly payments where you can fulfill that monthly payment with just one simple order. Now, do keep in mind that if you do decide to go with a used piece of equipment to start your business, you won't get the same level of warranty and training as you would from a manufacturer if you buy the machine directly from them new, right? Because with that whole ecosystem, the, the learning curve is going to be there to try to start out in this business, but that's what the support and the, and the knowledge and the guidance is there for. So having that support, having that warranty, that speaks volumes and is probably very valuable to a lot of people. That's why people decide to go new but if you kind of want to save some money and you have that knowledge you have that background already you can kind of find a good steal a good deal for a used piece of equipment and kind of tune it up like i mentioned before and get it working but just know that the warranty is not going to be the same and the level of training and support is not going to be the same right for for most for most companies the brand of the machinery you choose is also very critical when it comes to the level of support and training because what i've seen from most other companies is they will charge you a support fee, a monthly support fee to even talk to them if you didn't buy the machine from them brand new. If you bought it used on the secondary market, they will charge you for training and support. While here at Recoma, something that we don't do, right, is we actually give you the support for the lifetime of your machine, of being an owner of our, of our brand, absolutely free. So whether you buy it new from us or you bought it a secondary on the market used, we will still give you the level of support and answer your questions without charging you an extra fee. Also, do keep in mind that even when buying a used piece of equipment, the brand does matter because you want to make sure that you can still get parts for it, right? Because some of these machines might be very, very old, maybe 10 to 15 years, and you want to make sure that the brand that you decide to go with for that used piece of equipment still is able to provide you with the necessary parts if needed. The, the last thing that you want to do is invest in a used piece of equipment and something does break, right? Something that, that you didn't spot a red flag and something does break and you cannot get the support and the parts for it because that part has been discontinued or that manufacturer is no longer in business. So to kind of sum everything up, if you are brand new to the business, I would definitely not recommend going with a used piece of equipment simply because you don't have the experience or the knowledge to kind of navigate those circumstances to make sure you are spotting all the correct red flags. And just getting that training and support and the ecosystem of knowledge and help is super, super valuable, especially for someone starting out brand new. Now you might be thinking, what if I have years of experience in this industry and I can fix up the machine no problem? Great, I mean, if that is what you wanna do and you have a limited budget, do consider going with a used piece of equipment because that will put you at an advantage over people that don't have that experience. However, just know in the back of your mind as a business owner, as someone who is trying to make a profit in this industry, know that your time is limited and you have to weigh your time between spending time to fix up a machine if something goes wrong down the, down the road and and having to get parts for it or investing your time and growing your business. So that is the kind of pros and cons you have to weigh when you consider going with a used piece of equipment in this business. If you do like insights like these, make sure to join our free Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery, where thousands of embroiderers and other apparel decorators ask similar questions to this one and other information that you can really get to kickstart your business. If you guys have any questions about this topic, ask them below in the comments or go to the Facebook group and ask me there. I look forward to see you guys on the next episode. <laughs>